hi and welcome to the next video in the series of the videos we are talking about decimals how to represent decimal number and uh, how to convert the fraction to decimals and decimals back to fractions so in this video we'll be discussing how do we compare decimals that which decimal is smaller than another one so the first one here we have two numbers two decimal numbers more precisely 0.07 and 0.1 so now we are trying to say which one is smaller either this or this which one is smaller than the other in both this number so let's start by 0.07 when i say 0.07 what do i mean i mean that it is 7 part of 100 I like to write that it's like this means that this is 7 parts of 100 or 7 by 100. When I say point 0 0.1, what do I mean? I mean it is 1 part of 10. If you have difficulties in understanding how do I convert it this in, please refer to my previous videos. So, after converting 0 0.07 to the fraction 7 by 100 and 0 0.1 to the fraction 1 by 10, I am trying to represent this in this block. So this is a block of a hundred small blocks. Like you can consider this as a one single square considering of hundred small squares or hundred small blocks. And this is also the same one single square consists of hundred blocks. Now what do I when I say it is covering the seven parts of hundred? What I mean is that let's see this is seven. So one, two, three, four. 5, 6 and 7. So this is covering 7 part of 100. Let me try and represent this. But this is represent 1 by 10. What I am having here is a part to be represented as a 100th part. One part actually represents 100th part. So to convert it into 100th denominator, I multiply it in numerator and denominator by 100. And then I get here 10 by 100. This also I have explained in the previous video in the same playlist you can refer how to convert with the different denominators now after converting into 10 by 100 so you know what this teach me this is like i'm covering 10 parts of 100 like out of 100 parts i'm covering the 10 parts so let me try and cover this so now this is actually covering 10 parts of 100 this is covering 7 parts of 100 by seeing itself you can easily say that 10 by 100 is greater than 7 by 100 or in other words point 0.1 is greater than point zero seven. so this is the one way of representing or uh, understanding how do we compare decimals or how do we find which decimal number is greater than another but it's a little cumbersome if you see you cannot go on drawing these squares every time and try and highlight uh, the blocks how many parts are there so let's try and find out a similar way for this i have a decimal number here one and a number 0 0.99 one is actually a whole number you can say it's like 1.0 so now this number, how do I say that this number is greater than this or vice versa? What do I do is there is one more method. I try and convert this into fraction. This is 1.0. So it's 1 plus 0 by 10 plus 0 by 100 and so on. You can carry on. The same thing for the second number. 0 0.99. So what do I say? 0 0.99 is actually, you can say 0 plus 9 by 10 plus 9 by 100 so here you can see that this is 0 plus something and here it's like 1 plus something so naturally you can say that 1.0 is greater than 0 0.99 there's one more way of understanding this let's take the second and I'm trying understand the same now it's a very simple way and this is the most simplest way and easiest way of, and uh, the learned way of what 
what I can uh, like what I feel very easy uh, trying and understanding the same so if you see here what do we do we just have to take first the whole part what is the whole part here here the whole part is one here also the whole part is one okay so now the whole part is gone as both of them are same we cannot try and equivalent equivalent like we try and find which one is the greater so we cannot find that from the whole part now we go to the tenth one tenth of it so one tenth here i am having a zero again i am having a zero already. still i am unable to find out because both are same i go to one hundredth part here the one hundredth part is nine here the one hundredth part is nine still i am unable to find out so i go to the last one in the last part if you see here i am having three and here i am having nothing that means it's preceded or you can say it by a zero so here I'm having something as 1.090 and have having is 1.093 as 3 is greater than this 0 I can say that 1.09 is smaller than 1.093 very simple rule very simple to understand and remember just go on taking from the left most column what is the left most column here if you see the left most column itself is 1 and here it's 0 so you can directly say that 1 is greater than 0 0.99 you don't have to even go for the decimal part here as both of them are same we go to the decimal part the point one tenth of it then one hundredth and finally the last column one thousandth of it to try to find out so the rule is go to the leftmost column try and find out from the start comparing from the leftmost column and then go towards the right to Till you are able to find out which number uh, which number is greater than the another one. Okay, after come trying and finding out which number is greater, the next we are trying to find out is the applications of the decimal numbers. How decimal numbers are used in our day-to-day -day life. Decimal numbers are used everywhere in our day-to-day -day life. Let's take an example of four different parameters here I have taken the examples of money length weight and temperature how do we uh, convert uh, money using decimals or how do we uh, deal with money using decimals length weight and temperature so the first one is money let's say I have a 65 paisa then how do I represent the 65 paisa in two rupees using decimals so I already know that one paisa is one by hundred rupee or it is zero point zero one rupee. I'm here taking the currency of India as I'm reciting there. So you can uh, try and use your own currency, maybe dollar or pounds or whatever you are using there. And actually the same rules applies. Mathematics is same rule irrespective of what is the currency we are using. So here one paisa I am trying to represent into a rupee. We say that it's 0.01 rupee. Now if I have a 65 paisa, what exactly I am trying to do is I will be converting into if you say it would be 65 by 100 rupee or it is 0.65 rupee the same way I have 1 rupee and 5 paisa if I had need to convert this into decimals in rupees itself what I need to do is I keep 1 rupee as it is add 5 paisa 5 paisa will again become 5 by 100 and this is my rupee and then I would say it's 1 plus point zero 0.05 and that turns about to be 1.05 rupee let's go to the next one and try and solve that this is 56 centimeter and I am asked to convert this into meter now 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meter this is 
quite understanding 100, 100 centimeter represent 1 meter so then if I have to convert that back to a back of 56 centimeter back to meters what I would be doing is 56 centimeter is equivalent to 56 by 100 meter or you can say it's 0 0.56 meter now here I have already 1.56 centimeter it is there and I am asked to convert that into meter that means I would first have 1 centimeter sorry 1.56 centimeter I have to convert that into meter so I can say that this is 156 by 100 centimeter for converting this centimeter into meter I have to multiply uh, by 1 by 100 again so this become 156 again 100 and now I try and represent that into meter so this will be 0 0.0056 meter I hope this is clear to you I repeat again here it's 1.56 centimeter I am representing this as a whole number 156 by 100 centimeter equal to 156 by 100 into 1 by 100 by I am doing 1 by 100 is to convert this into meter doing 1 by 100 I have converted this into a meter and now I am trying and again representing that back mm, wait a minute this is 0 0.1 I am sorry this is one zero point not 56 0 0.0156 meter now let's go to the next one which is weight now here I have something as 456 gram I am trying to represent that into uh, what you can say a kilogram now we already know or if we are not known I'll just try and repeat it one gram is equal to one by thousand kilograms or you can say in other word thousand grams makes one kg so if I have to represent or if I have to represent 456 grams so then 456 grams equal to 456 by 1000 you just have to cross multiply the same in kilograms and this gives me 0.46456 kilograms let's take the next one that is 1 kg and 23 grams so 1 kg remains as it is now for 23 grams you can say apply the same technique 23 divide by 1000 to get into a kilogram and then you can say it as 1 plus 0 0.023 kilograms or it's 1.023 kilograms this way you can convert any uh, smaller weight or a grams or a, I mean smaller property into a bigger one in that length uh, what I'm trying to say is they will be if you have a centimeter convert into meter in grams you can convert into kilograms so same way you can have the temperature temperature also can be represented as you already are well, like 98.7 is body temperature or uh, you have something as 36.5 or whatever so we represent this by different temperature we, we uh, normally say today the temperature let's say in Bangalore we had 19.1 degrees centigrade and so on so you can represent decimals in day to day life trying to represent temperature, weight, length, money many other parameters as such so this was all about how do we apply decimals into our day to day life thank you